All right, let's lock in. Let's watch. Like I said, it's 15 clips, then we'll get stretched. Um, there's some pay attention to how the guys are screening, how they're constantly moving. Um, it's a season of growth, a lot of learn, um, a lot of patience, right? Um, I think it was, you know, we came into the season with a lot of expectations, and rightfully so. Um, and it didn't get off to the start that most people probably expected. And I thought that was a combination of some things. One, it was obviously a tough schedule, but two, you know, guys were adjusting to new roles. You know, some of those juniors were adjusting to now leadership roles, and some of those younger guys were adjusting to now they had to be consistent. And then we also had some guys that were still first-time varsity guys mixed in with that as well. So um, I think it's been a lot of growth from obviously November to now, and you're seeing that on the floor. Just two things to be aware of, TV timeouts. Yep. First dead ball directly at or under the four minute mark. Okay. Just so you know. And it's one TV timeout per quarter. Per quarter, okay. So as soon as you, it's like the under 16 in college. Yep. So just so you know, that's coming. Uh, any further? So TV timeouts, we can meet as a staff to kill some time. And then, then we can go talk to them. So any 30 second or full timeout called by a team at or under the four minute team will become the media. Into the media timeout. Yeah. TV timeouts will be 90 seconds. Yeah. So a minute and a half. Yeah. yeah, we had a we had a okay season. I mean, we had a really tough schedule, but I think our record was close something close to 500 around there, which we weren't expecting. But um, we did have a lot of highs and lows. But I think that really helped us because. From the beginning of the season all the way to the end, we just kept believing in ourselves, no matter if we won or lost. And we knew that even if we lost, our goal was much bigger than that win or loss. It was still to get to Dayton and go further than we did last year. You have to jump to the ball. If you just back up on every pass, you're going back up into a screen. So just like this guy for Huntington, and it happened multiple times versus these guys where they're so, hey, we're just going to switch everything, and they're pointing. And at that point, it's a wrap. Miscommunication, wide open three. Uh, I think the tough games we played really prepared us for what, was, what happened in the finals. Um, in those late stretches, late games where it got close, where we were still able to pull it out. I think those games early in the regular season helped us out with that. Yeah, um, it was definitely a lot of tough losses. And I think, you know, a testament to those guys that still believe in what we were preaching every day in practice um, that, hey, eventually that we can still accomplish some really, really cool things if we just keep working at it. And that's the beauty of a regular season where, you know, you even if you lost, you still have another game, right? And it's all in preparation for the tournament. And the guys, they never put their heads down, they stuck together, and now we're in the state final four. Hey, guards down here with Coach Parker. Let's go bigs down here with Coach Brooks. Or I'm um, do player development right away, yeah. Omar. Go ahead, well, that's fine. No, I'm a little off. Just put 10 minutes up. Raylan, Raylan down here. Cookie, pick a side. Logan, pick a side. I think we're a lot more confident now, especially I am. Last year, you know, I was nervous. I was a freshman, first year, Final Four. I didn't really know what to expect. This year, since I've been here before last year, now I'm like eager to win. I just I'm more hungry. I really want this game because nobody think we're gonna win. And I think we got it really. I think the beauty of those three is they all affect the game in different ways. Uh, where you know Carter affects the game on, with his defense. Well, they all affect the game defensively, uh, but offensively they all do different things, and they're able to play with each other. Where you know obviously C.J. Little is a great distributor of the basketball, uh, pushes the ball well, finishes at the rim really well, and then you have Ace who can kind of score at all three levels, whether it's at the rim, mid range, or from three. And then Carter Jackson is a little bit similar, but Ace probably makes more plays as far as passing. Carter's probably the best scorer out of the three at times. So they and Carter rebounds the best. Um, but they all rebound. So you just you're seeing guys kind of just grow before your eyes of like they're confident in their ability and they're learning when like they're just learning how to get to their spots and, uh, and how they can affect the game. You know where they roll the ball out, close it out, hook. Yeah. Hey, offense! Offense! Two guys on the baseline, roll it out. Coach Parker over here. Working on pin down, guard pin downs, and we'll work on flares. 
We'll work on back screens. I mean, I got chemistry with both guys. I've been playing with Carter a few years, so I know we know exactly how each other play. We know what our strengths and weaknesses are and everything. So I think that helped a lot. And I played with Ace at AAU. So me being a point guard, I know just how their games are. We know how to, we just click. We both were all guards. All of us just strive together. We all just feed off each other. Ball back, ah, throw out, throw back. Boom, pin down, get, good, get through it, get through it. Good, 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 let's go. Let's go, let's go, offense to defense, defense off. Well, it's very special because I think um, even though we are here this year, I think for the next couple years we can be uh, there as well. So it's just, it's nice. Here go Mike, you're going too early. Let Sean Doe come to you, just stand there. Boom, it's tighter. And then that, now you're good. And then when you beat him, right here. Good, don't let him curl it. Now it's better. There, there was too much space. Mike was going super fast. I'd probably say just the first round of playoffs, like that first game, you could tell like everyone's mentality kind of switched. Everyone really got locked in. Practice got super serious. And um, especially when JV kids came up, they brought great energy. And you could tell like we were just hungry to go back to where we were last year. I would say, I don't know about a game per se, I would say kind of a weekend that I really felt it started to turn was um, the weekend when we played at Ed's on Friday and then we played Shaker the next day on Saturday. Um, I, we lost to Ed's, but I thought it was some good things that we could we, we were able to take from that game. Um, I thought we were able to, you know, they got out to an early lead in the third quarter and my guys never quit. We got it down to seven, three or four times and had a chance a couple other times to cut into the lead even more. We just weren't, weren't able to do it that night. And then to bounce back at home and to beat Shaker, um, a team who won the LEL and beat them convincingly. And this was all without John Efforts. And that told me, okay, these other guys are getting more confident. And I thought at times we relied almost too much on John. And our identity is not just one guy, our identity is our depth. And so I think that's what you're seeing now is, you know, John may score 10 or 20 and we can still win. So three guys along the baseline. Sean Dope, you're gonna roll it out to Trisha. We're gonna close out. Hey, you're on, we're gonna close out to our spots. You're in the gap, you're in the gap. You're gonna reverse it, Jack. You're jumping, jumping to the ball in the gap. Yep, Jack, you're getting you're sliding over. Shondo, where are you at in the gap? Jump to the ball, reverse it, boom. Now you're in the gap on that reversal. Ace, yep, you're, in, you're jumping, exactly. On that reversal, you three are gonna come together. So Sam, you're coming to set a flare. Carter, you're coming to set a pin down. All right, that's how it's gonna look. You stay in the gap. Because if you go like this, what do we leave? So you can do both and see, right? Now, what's gonna happen is somebody's gonna pop, somebody's gonna slip, usually the guy that sets the flare is gonna slip, and then Tristan's gonna pop back out. So Tristan or Carter, one of you guys pop. Sam, you always slip. You gotta talk it out, gotta talk it out. Figure it out. Stay locked in and be hungry. We know we're the underdog in this game. We know nobody expects us to win. So I think that just like a chip on our shoulder type. Like we need this game. We want this game really bad. Cause no, nobody think we're gonna win. Nobody got no faith in us, but we got faith. So I think that's gonna help us a lot. Hey, hey, you gotta contest. Fellas, we contest every jumper. There is no none of this. It's gotta be a contest. Yeah, they're, they're obviously a really, really good team. You don't win 44 games without being obviously really good. I feel like we've kind of been on this collision course to meet them, though, um, be, dating back to last year where you thought maybe we might play them in the state championship. And then we played them in the summertime, and, you know, they didn't have all their guys. We didn't. It's just summer basketball. And then, you know, kind of knowing that, hey, if we were able to get out of the region, we were probably going to face them. And, hey, in order to, to win the championship, you got to beat the best. Um, and obviously they're really good. They're going to test your defense of principles every time down and and you don't it's not a lot of room for error with those guys because they're so sound and smart um, and they they've played with each other so long they just they just know how to win um, and they're really really good offensively but uh, we're going to do our best to slow them down we look forward to the challenge and we believe in ourselves we believe that 
the, 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 the schedule, we've played really, really good teams that put out groups of five, just like Centerville with multiple guys going to Division One. So we're not scared or afraid of these guys at all. We respect them, but we believe we can win too. Honestly, just remain focused, but have fun with it. Like, it's still another game. Just like, I know it's obviously not another game, but at the end of the day, it is another game. You still gotta do the little things right. Uh, be yourself, play the game like you know how to play, and I think everything else will just take care of itself. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add in after, once we get, then we're gonna add in offense, defense. So now, you, Carter, exactly. Good, 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 outside, good. The problem is you start switching, then you start, exactly. Uh, obviously a tough team, but we feel we can beat them, and we're just gonna wanna go out there and do that. We wanna beat them. Who? I was with them too. Who was on offense? Yeah, it's like these three ways. No. No, y'all just ran into each other then. Oh, okay. All right. My fault. I'm thinking, I don't know who was on offense. Good, man. You know, just, you know, obviously getting ready. So, exciting times, man, right? Back, back in Dayton.